This short video today will be about the day in the life of a simulation specialist. So one of the first things we do as sim specialists is to come in in the morning and identify which courses need to be set up for either that day or the next day and then identify which rooms uh, need to be set up. And we would first of all go to the um, Lizer calendar and click on the, the uh, name of the course and identify the room. And then uh, after that, we would uh, print out the setup document for that course and then uh, head to the appropriate room and go ahead and set up the appropriate equipment for the uh, course. For this course, the setup document specifies that a Simman Classic, an IV, and a bag of normal saline be in place and available. Suction and tubing for oxygen will also be needed. A crash cart with a defibrillator should be put in place and the defibrillator should be plugged in. Once everything is set up, SimMan needs to be tested to make sure everything is working properly. After completion of the uh, room setup, we would then test the simulation software and the mannequin to ensure proper functionality. So one of the first steps we would do is ensure that the mannequin is breathing. So I will confirm with my partner that the mannequin is breathing. The patient's breathing. Okay. And then we would make we would then stop the patient from breathing, and then the um, the sim specialist that I'm working with would then go ahead and ventilate the patient. Good chest would, rise. Good chest rise. So now we will go ahead and uh, test his airway. So we will do trismus. Trismus. Okay. And then tongue edema. Tongue edema. And then uh, cervical range. Oh, cervical range. Cervical range. Good. And then we'll go pharyngeal obstruction. Pharyngeal obstruction. And then we'll ring spasm. Ring spasm. Okay. And then we would then test for a uh, cannot intubate, can, can ventilate uh, airway. And then we would test for the cannot intubate, cannot ventilate airway. Cannot ventilate. Okay. We would then test, we'd go back to a normal airway and then we would test for uh, that there, we are getting a CO2 trace on the patient monitor. And once we confirm that, we would we would uh, stop the testing, and then save the session to confirm that everything was tested properly. Thank you for watching this Wiser Minute. For more information, visit us on our YouTube channel.